Our guests in studio, from the Berkeley County uh, Commission, the President Jim Whitaker and the Vice President Eddie Gokenauer. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and uh, Happy New Year if I don't see you before then as well. Thank G you. Gentlemen, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, there, there is a regularly commissioned uh, uh, commission segment tomorrow at 9, and I'm not sure who is supposed to come in for that one, but I assume we can skip that with the two of you uh, here right now. Uh, so... First and foremost, let's get to the business of replacing the sheriff, who after Christmas will ultimately resign, and the procedures you've now set in place for that process to take place. Jim? Uh, well, I don't have it right in front of me, but the timeline we set out is uh, uh, once the uh, the twenty midnight of the 26th uh, passes, uh, then we are going to open up the um, – uh, well, I think Eddie has it. Here gone. we go. Yeah. I should have brought it in with me. Um, yeah, the com uh, commission is uh, – We'll propose a public notice or post it on the uh, 27th, and then the 27th, the commission opens um, up for applications to be received. And as it goes through, we'll uh, take those until, uh, let's see, what does it say? Oh, no, that's 4 o'clock on, um, on the 10th of January, mm -hmm. and then we'll go through the applicants, and then we will hold a special meeting and um, an interview during open session. Now, Jim, the applicants uh, or the one that appointed has to be a Republican. That is correct. It, yes. That's the only uh, only limitation. And live in yeah, and live and in, in Berkeley County. Berkeley yeah. County yeah. yeah. Well, and meet the other qualifications. What's uh, that? Cannot be a felony. Uh, okay. Have, cannot be a convicted of a felon, uh, felony charge. Also. Now, if they have, if they have fulfilled their parole, to fulfill the sentence, are they still prohibited of being appointed? I think so in, in that particular office. I think so. I You may well be right, Eddie. I was thinking all elected officials, once they'd served the term, they could, in fact, yeah, serve. I, but I, I don't know I that think for the, a fact. I think yeah. that the sheriff's are different yeah. on that one. I, Bill, you may be right that yeah. uh, there was um, – I, I thought there was a question about it uh, many years ago, but I heard that there was just two offices after you serve your term that, uh, that you would be allowed to, to run. That you'd be allowed to or would not be allowed you to? You would be allowed to. And I, was, I heard the governor and the commissioner. Spot. Okay. The two. Is you know, a law this, enforcement background required? No, no not really. Huh. I mean, that's why you kind of have a chief deputy. It's, uh, I think, the, the short version of a sheriff is the chief tax collector uh, for the county. Uh, and then that's why you pretty much have a chief deputy to, to, for the daily operations of the law enforcement. Okay. Yeah. But so any, going back to it, they had, the big thing is they had to be a Republican and meet the criteria, meet the criteria uh, that, yeah. uh, that Eddie mentioned and live in Berkeley County. Yep. So, yes, and sir. this person who will be selected will serve how long? Uh, to, uh, yeah, to the remainder of uh, Sheriff Harmon's term. Uh, you know, which is, by the way, through next year, uh, through December the 31st of 2024. Yes, sir. Thank you, Bill. Uh, yeah, and this... And this um, this schedule right here, uh, you know, we took in account and, and the early conversations were very similar to what they were when you guys replaced uh, the assessor exactly. a number of years exactly. ago. Uh, you know, we, we had discussed about a, a two-week uh, period of uh, application process. Uh, we've discussed about the fact that uh, we, we would prefer folks who were not interested in running for that position. Um, but, but after some further uh, time and, and discussion, um, it was discussed that, look, this has been publicized long enough, and a 10-day period should certainly be suffice for people to get their uh, application and or resume in uh, for this position. And, um, and, and I, I spoke personally with the, with the rest of the commission that – I understood the premise of that uh, suggestion of getting somebody who was not interested in running. So, so if if we look at this thing, and, and if we had ten applicants, for example, and we went through this thing, and like maybe the first two uh, that really came to the top had a desire to run for sheriff. Okay, so we're going to set them aside, and and then we would have to settle for the third best person to run this office I, I, we just felt that that was n not a good decision and and that we were going to move forward uh, regardless uh, of that i tell you this this is a big job and you know you got 67 deputies uh, there's probably between the tax office his civilian personnel there's probably another 
25 or 30 civilian employees. This is a 24 hours a day, seven day operation, and they they need they need good uh, leadership in that role right now. They need accountability. Uh, so that department currently, because of, of all of the issues going on, they're they're fractured. So um, they need a healer and uh, get this department. They're a good bunch of people, and they serve this county very very well. And uh, <clears throat> I tell you, I'm. I'm proud of them. I mean, these, these guys do a heck of a job, and um, but they 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 need some good solid leadership that will get in there and uh, just take care of them and, and take care of the public. Eddie, the resignation for Nate uh, Harmon, the current sheriff, takes place day after Christmas. There was a petition to remove filed by the prosecutor of Berkeley County, Katie Oaks Delegate, was supported by the commission uh, in a vote that you took. Was there any thought to asking for the immediate resignation as opposed to the cushion between now and the 26th? We weren't really involved in that plea agreement. Uh, so I, I don't know. I can't tell you the exact reason why that particular date was chosen because we were not part of that discussion. It, does it, has it created an awkward situation in the department? I would think it's a little bit awkward, especially uh, in the agreement <clears throat> that uh, the chief deputy has a responsibility of personnel. Uh, so, um, but as you just saw this morning uh, on on the Facebook, you know, the Sheriff Harmon Sheriff Harmon has uh, you know put out a, a release about the shooting last night involving our uh, state troopers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so he's he's still doing his job, and and he is still the sheriff of Berkeley County until. Uh, midnight of the 26th, and uh, you know, I, I applaud him uh, for his leadership uh, right here in this particular instance. It's a very difficult time, but uh, he— Will his yeah. chief deputy assume the role of sheriff until there is an appointed replacement? Yes, sir. Yeah, that was the—well, not so much a discussion, but that was what everything led to. So there will be a period of th uh, 30 days, correct? Yes. Yeah, 30 days. Uh, when the person who succeeds— Nate is appointed. When will that person then take the office? That moment, or is there a, a delay between the, the appointment and then the actual positioning of the job? That will be on the 18th. 18th, uh, yeah. The swearing yeah. in, he can uh, actually be sworn in on the 19th. 19th, yeah. All right. What was uh, what was the relationship between the commission and the sheriff's office prior to February of last year when when all this kind of happened, and your opinion of how the office was working before that? Well, for me, I, I thought it was a, a very good working relationship. Um, I think he had the support of, of all of his employees over there, uh, even within the tax office. Um, I, you know, for, for what has happened or what took place after that, um, you know, I, I understand as a father, but still as an elected constitutional officer, you know, it's, uh, it, nobody's above the law. So. so the replacement has to be a Republican. Yes. yes. What makes a Republican a Republican? What are the bona fides? If this, if you have somebody who's been a lifelong Democrat and for the sake of this says, okay, I'm a Republican now? Registered. Ah. registered. How you're registered. Registered as a Republican. That's okay. All. And wh what is the partisan element of being a sheriff? Why does it matter if somebody's a pol Democrat, historical, Republican? Historical. That's the only reason. Mm -hmm. It's Just, always it, it's always been that, but we're moving away from it, John. The judges were always partisan, and we recently, about ten years or so ago, we made them nonpartisan. Uh, I think at the local level, all officers should be nonpartisan. We look at the county council, county commission; they are elected as an, as partisan, but they do not act as a partisan. Uh, there are none of the elected officials that I know of ever experienced anyone carrying a banner, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican. They all act as nonpartisan. Yeah, well, but at the commission level where policy is being made, there's certainly opportunity, it would make sense, of why partisanship is part of the electoral process. You know, people think one way or the other, and then the, the county policies evolve from that. But for the sheriff, whose job is merely to enforce the 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 will of the commission and therefore the will of the people i don't i don't see where there's a partisan element to that it just doesn't make sense to me just, much like the, much like the judiciary i don't see a reason why and they're not why why judges would be partisan. just the way it's set up in the constitution yeah. right and, and that is that is just the way it is yeah and in this in this process you know as as we discussed you know a little bit ago uh we're hoping to be able to get the best person 
to fulfill the remaining unexpired term uh, of the sheriff, and then in November, the voters will select the next sheriff of Berkeley County. Mm -hmm. But it's our job, we feel, that we find the best person for the next 11 months to be able to go in there and lead this organization. And I, and I agree with you in regards to uh, not ruling out a person who says, I would like to run for re-election. It, I understand why people would think that way because you don't want to look like you're endorsing the next person, you know, giving a leg up on somebody to win. But you want the best qualified person regardless. We do. And, and you, know, you could perceive it as, a, as an advantage. I understand that. I sure. wholeheartedly understand it. But the, the flip side of that is if this person does not perform well, it will be a disadvantage to them. So mm -hmm. That's a fair point, too. Yep. Right? And they're going to have a year on the job. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. In the incident that uh, that Eddie referred to earlier when this uh, Patsy Nolan resigned from assessor office, we did put that requirement in, stipulation in, because we did not want to give somebody a heads up. We were very, very, very fortunate to find an exceptionally well-qualified individual that did not want the job for more than just a very few months. Mm -hmm. uh, and he did a great job at the time. But I, I think you're, the point you're making, Eddie, is very good is very very correct that you want the right person for these next 11 months and Not, this is a this is really a different job between yeah, the sheriff right, and the right. assessor you know uh, an eight hour a job yeah. five days yeah. a week versus yeah. 24 7. yeah, yeah. It, it, patsy kilmer Patrick, Patrick, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry you're yeah, exactly right, right. Patrick. Yeah. Thank you very much, sure. Jim. Sure. Is there a Jim, list? Jim, that was brave of you to correct the admiral in the air. Yeah. Well, I, 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 it's just, the, just hey, for the sake of it. It's, it's, it's the old memory, old, the old memory not well, kicking in, Jim. Out of all the right. things, all Eddie, things Eddie I've lost. backing up. I didn't do that. <laughs> It was him. It was him that did it. Hey, Bill, out of all the things I've lost, I've missed my mind the most. But I, I, I still try to, uh, still, I just still try I to remember that. the names. But thanks very much. Is there a minimum list of qualifications that, that you're looking for have to have a, I don't know, if it was any other job, you, you have to have a degree or not have a degree, X number of years experience, all that. Is there any any standard like that against which the candidates would match? There are not. No. Uh, and the, the qualifications are set forth in the, in the code. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what we're following. Will it be a five commission member vote on this? I would hope so. Oh, yeah. Will you? We will all participate in the uh, in the interview, yes. Does anybody else have any influence on who is selected besides the five elected commissioners? No, sir. Only no. themselves and how they perform in, uh, in their interview. I am I'm so impressed both Jim and Eddie that you're doing all of this in open session. You're doing only the very first part in closed session. I don't know why you need to do that even in closed session, but I, there may be a reason. But I'm I'm large proponent that that you sh everything you can do in open session should be done in open session. Yeah. And that was our goal, to yeah. be as transparent. And, and it's showing that, yeah. yeah. So, And also, you're going to be doing it on Zoom, are you not? Or at least your... Uh, oh, it'll be uh, on the web, yeah. On the web, that's yeah. right, yeah. On the county's website? Yes, sir. Broadcasting the... Televising the meeting. Absolutely. Very good. Uh, now, in, in regards to the rest of the county's business to close out the year, any particular news you want to share as we finish out the year of 2023? It's, Jim, you're the president. Well, I tell you, it's been a, it's been a, yeah, a very uneventful year. Uh, with, with some events that have taken place. And um, uh, and I want to thank Eddie and Steve and HD and, and Jim for uh, for having their confidence in me for the leadership mm -hmm. uh, of being president this year. Uh, Eddie, of course, I mean, thank goodness he was vice president. I mean, my mm -hmm. work took me away for yeah. quite a while. Mm -hmm. You know, not yeah. every day here, but uh, but Eddie uh, Eddie helped fill that gap for me, and I want to thank him publicly. Uh, yeah, it's... You know we're we're a team, mm -hmm. and it's it's very good that we can communicate uh, very very well and uh, support one another. And uh, there's a lot of things going on in, in this county. But I tell you, one of the one of the things that we're really proud of, and it just it kind of finalized itself uh, last week, is the uh, the approval of our TIF districts uh, mm -hmm. from the uh, state development office. Those, those are big. That's, that's a big deal, and it it gives a, a, an opportunity for growth to pay for growth. And uh, it's it's already got got some interest. Uh, uh, in, how in the, how will growth know. pay for growth with the TIF district? Well, you, you take that that increment, you know, from tax. the from the base tax that it is today, and and when that increment is added, it's that different uh, uh, increase in tax on that particular property uh, will go towards our infrastructure, whether it's 
road. We can actually build a road with that. We can we can do uh, water or sewer. We can build a public safety building. That's hopefully that's the intent on the north end of the mm-hmm. county. So instead of going back to the taxpayers to for rate increases, that hopefully that money will take care of that particular infrastructure. How about the Crawford building, Eddie? You have not mentioned that. That's yeah, going to be a real <laughs> need. That is. Well, we have uh, come up with a solution uh, as a temporary fix okay. to uh, to move the uh, an agreeing judge over to the old sheriff's office. Okay. And uh, that's that's kind of fell into place and, and welcomed. But uh, the Crawford building to renovate it, uh, we're it's a two year process, and I think the uh, the the two year bonding that we're probably going to have to get is uh, ten million each year for two years. To take care of that project, but with the growth in the judicial center, yes. we've got to have it with the circuits and, and the magistrates. Yeah, yeah. and that is yeah. uh, that is not by our choice. That is yeah. by our demand. Yeah, not our demand. The uh, um, the Supreme Court's demand. But but we have to have it anyway yes. because the judges are totally overwhelmed. They yeah. need they need relief. So having yeah. additional judges, magistrates is required. So yeah. But the Crawford building is an integral part of yeah. that. So. Before I go too much further and forget, uh, I want to thank everybody in our office: Gary, Penny, yeah. Tracy, uh, Julie. Anthony Pen- Penny who a uh, penny <laughs> <laughs> the heart and penny. So, the heart penny. and soul of the, of the office she yeah. is and uh, and Anthony and, and yeah. Jeff and uh, oh Elizabeth and yeah. Tracy uh, on down in grants and I, I shouldn't start naming names because I know I'll forget yeah. somebody yeah. but I really want to thank all the uh, all the county uh, staff for for all their hard work you have year. a wonderful uh, staff that work with you yeah Jim, does it, another vote in January take place for who will be president, or does the president follow you until the end of your term? No, no. It, uh, there'll be another uh, another vote in January. We do it every year. Would you like to be president once again? You know, I, I've, I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, I, would I like it? Yeah, maybe another time. But uh, I think uh, I think it's we all should be able to take that uh, that torch and run with it at least once. So you're saying you might like to rotate it to somebody else I next would, year? yeah. That's a very interesting thought. Yeah. Very unselfish of you, too. Well, it's uh, you know we're all there together to do to do the work of the county. Uh, just because I was the president doesn't mean that uh, you know I, yeah. there's any special thing that goes on. Bill, you were there also, and uh, but it's all of us together. Yeah, I like to think of us when, as, when, as that good team. When Bill was there, did he not change the title to King of the Commission? If I remember that correctly, <laughs> no, uh, Emperor, 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 I, rem- I think I remember that. Those are close yeah. votes. Very close yeah, vote. yeah. I, I wouldn't let anybody else vote. I just vote myself. <laughs> Here comes the bus. Here comes the bus. <laughs> so, Eddie, Eddie, the spotlight then is, it goes on to you as the vice president. Would you like to be president next year? Uh, I've, I've considered it, and uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm into having that discussion. You know, but mm-hmm. you know, one of the things that I've learned from Jim uh, this year in particular is that his uh, desire for uh, the council, the commission to be inclusive. You know, he and I go to him and say, look, I don't particularly agree with this. You know, what do you think about this? He's open to suggestions. And and that's that's really that's really good in a leader. Uh, so I I really appreciate that because sometimes my thought process doesn't quite line up. And mm-hmm. Somebody uh, told me a long time ago, if we're all thinking alike, somebody's not thinking. That's right. But now, just for clarification, I, get, I got the impression, Jim, you'd, you'd like to be president for one more year and then after one more year to start the rotation. Well, you, you're close, but not okay. quite. I, okay. I'm, it doesn't have to be. I mean, like I said. I know it doesn't I, have yeah. to be, but I, yeah. you're, I was talking about your it, preference. It, your yeah. preference. If, if, the, uh, yeah. if my fellow commissioners would, yeah. would like that, I'd be more than happy to do it. Yeah. But if they, uh, if they want to yeah. choose again that's that's yeah. fine too yeah. i mean we're all there together well jim you have you have corrected bill on one thing and told him he's wrong on another and i want you to know i'm that. getting very uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> you you get to leave the room afterward but there's repercussions for the rest of us well i'm not coming between him and those donuts <laughs> i'll leave that alone i appreciate that uh, you mentioned the year of 2023 and you had to replace uh, the administrator, uh, Alan Davis, mm-hmm. who'd been there for uh, what, about a decade, I guess, uh, yeah. as the county administrator. Uh, you were fortunate you had a candidate like Gary Wine who was already in-house to replace him. But uh, clearly, when you have to replace a county administrator, there's a disruption. That's a big deal. And I tell you, uh, both of those gentlemen are hardworking people. And, uh, and Gary, he, he's, he is one of the hardest working, uh, most open person that I've ever worked with. And... Uh, we're very, very fortunate to have him here in the county. Can I add one more adjective? Sure. He's hardworking. He's easy to work with, but he's also smart. He's very he's smart. Very, very, very smart. Yes, he is. 
All right. Uh, any final questions for our tandem from the county commission, Bill or John? Well, I, I just want to applaud them for what they've done. They have uh, uh, they have a team, and Jim's mentioned that, and the team is emphasized. That's not always been the case, but it is right now. So I want to applaud you gentlemen, the other, your other I, three members. I used to joke around, there's no I in team, but there's an E in me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, are, what are the big goals for next year? What are the home run swings? Well, you know, working with the legislature uh, coming forward, you know, we've got a lot of stuff in front of them, and uh, they're very important to Berkeley County. So that, that will be a lift. The number one priority, if you can pick one among one those. One cent sales tax. One cent sales yes, tax. Yes, sir, absolutely. Right. So we can get more firemen, more policemen, more school resource officers, more dispatchers, more prosecutors. All those things involve public safety, and that's our, that's our biggest need moving forward. Is that part of the home rule? It is. It is. Uh, and I'm not. Yeah, I would not say that we need total home rule, yeah. but give us the flexibility for a, a growing county to be able to do the things that we need. It, that's, that's what we need. I do have one question from, uh, for you from our audience, from Jeff Haddix. How are you preparing for the money from the West Virginia First Foundation that will flow to the counties because it's a pretty strong amount of money? Well, right now we're in a, uh, what is it, three and a half, four million dollar project to, uh, to add on to the Day Report Center. So, you know, the funding that, uh, that will be coming from there will, will go to increase the services for, you know, for that need of the, of the county. Eddie? So. Yeah, and, and we really, you know, I'd really like to look at opportunities that we can do stuff in a regional basis uh, from some of that money, you know, whether we partner with the city uh, on a project where their, their funds from that and, and our funds can go together and do something really good, something that's needed. I know that the... The, uh, the mayor has uh, looked at a, a detox center. So, you know, the, all those things are a need, and uh, let's, let's look and see what we can do together. Gentlemen, thanks so much for coming in. We have appreciated it uh, all year long and especially today. So you're saying you don't need us tomorrow then? I, I don't, but if you'd like to come back, you can. <laughs> yeah, and prayers, prayers for the troopers and yes, their families. Yes, yes, indeed. 100%. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.